Hello and welcome to another lecture. Today we're going to talk about range equation. And uh, what is this? All right, so your system, your system calculates the depth of the structures based on the one fixed value for propagation speed, which is 15, 40 meters per second. So your system assumes all the time the propagation speed is 15 40 meters per second which is not true and that's why we have sometimes a type of artifact that we call propagation speed error artifact but that's something that we're going to talk about in the future and it uses a round trip time when i'm talking about depth all right i'm talking about this here let me show you let's go to the system and um we're talking about this right here, one, two, three, you know, this, those are centimeters. So that basically tells you at what depth is the structure that you're trying to see. So for example, if, um, let me scan myself, let me show you this in more details. All right, so I'm scanning here myself. And I say, well, um, I can say, well, this um, this structure right here is approximately at one centimeter and a half. Uh, this right here is approximately at two centimeters. This right here is approximately at three centimeters. So you can tell the depth of the structure that you're trying to see. But the question is, how does your system do this? And it's basically using something that we call the range equation, right? Range equation. So range equation is, is find, basically finds the reflector depth, how far the reflector is from the transducer, reflector depth, all right? Don't forget about this. That's what the range equation calculates. And of course, in order to determine the uh, reflector depth, we need two more things. We need the Propagation of speed, the system knows this, which is 15, 40 meters per second in soft tissue, all right, in soft tissue. And the system, and we need the round trip time, but the system knows this. Round trip time is the time that the sound takes to go to the structure, hits the structure, right, uh, produces an echo, and then comes back. Your system knows that round trip time. Your system knows when the sound goes and when the sound comes back. So that will be an easy piece of cake for the system to know. So knowing all this and having all this information, having all this information so we can say, well, range equation that calculates the depth equals, all right, so we're gonna say propagation speed or velocity of the sound times round trip time, the time that takes for the sound to go, strike the reflector and back, and then we're going to divide this by two. And this is the range equation. Remember, range equation determines the reflector depth. That's what we're looking for. Not a cogenicity, not the size, a diameter or the area. We're talking about how far the reflector is from the transducer. That's what we're looking for in here. And that's the way your system is able to say, hey, look, um, um, I know this structure is at a determined depth, this structure is at, at, at a determined depth, and, um, and then you have information about how far the structure is from the transducer, and then you can adjust the depth for a better, uh, for a, a better visualization of the structure that you're looking for. Uh, moving forward, there's something that we need to talk about when we're talking about range equation, and that is, that is the um, 30 microseconds rule. The 13 microseconds rule. And this rule only works for soft tissue, right? 
when the velocity of the sound is 1540 meters per second. Remember, that's a number that your system assumes, all right? That is always like this. That is always like this. That is going to be 1540 meters per second. But as I said before, it's not always like that. Remember, the sound is just going to go through different type of tissues, and it's, it's going to be higher in bone, it's going to be higher in tendon, it's going to be slower in fat, for example. So there is always a change in velocity of the sound. But the question is, how does your system know where the sound is just going at the moment? All right. And the answer is no, your system doesn't know this. So it has to use a fixed value. But you never know, maybe in the future they find a way. But for now, well, the system doesn't know. The system assumes all the time that the velocity of the sound is 1540 meters per second. All right. And based on this information, we say the following. Every 13 microseconds, we have one centimeter depth. That's how far the reflector is from the transducer. And of course, we're going to have two centimeters of round trip time. All right. So if this is the case, then we have the following. Every 26 microseconds, then we're going to have two centimeters depth. That's how far the reflector is from the transducer. And of course, the round uh, trip distance, you know, the total distance, distance going down, one centimeter down, one centimeter up. That was for this one, two centimeters. All right. But now you have two centimeters down and two centimeters up. So the total distance traveled by the sound is going to be four centimeters in here. Then next is 26 plus 13 is going to give you 39 microseconds. That means that for those 39 microseconds of round trip time, we have three centimeters depth. That's how far the reflector is from the transducer. And then, of course, the total distance, the round trip uh, distance is going to be six centimeters, three going down, three going up. Then next is going to be... Um, uh, 52 microseconds then that will be four centimeters depth that's the distance from the transducer to the reflector and of course eight centimeters for total distance if you can see it every 30 microseconds we have one centimeter depth but then we have two centimeters and in increase for um, total distance you know of depth going down and then distance going up all right so that's what we're talking about in here so please don't forget about this 30 microseconds rule i think is very easy to understand and um, also don't forget about this uh, range equation which is basically determined it is used to determine the reflector depth and it equals the velocity of the sound times the round trip time divided by two and um, this is a pretty short lecture. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Uh, because after this, we're going to start talking about the sound beam on the space, the anatomy of the sound beam on the space. We're going to talk about the near zone. We're going to talk about the far zone, the focal point, the focal zone, all these parts. And after this, uh, that will be like kind of an intro to understand later about the resolutions. We're going to talk about actual resolutions lateral and elevational so we still have a great time together so we have so many things to go over but that is it for today i hope you uh, understand this and remember go all the time back on the recording and um, don't go to the next lecture until you understand this one thank you for making it today one more time and i'll see you soon thank you